All right, cadets, our next period of instruction is going to be pressing your service shirt. Whenever you get issued a set of service uniforms, I would always recommend that at least the first time you have your stuff pressed, that you take it to a dry cleaners that is very familiar with military creases. So if they are accustomed to doing uniforms and pressing uniforms and cleaning uniforms for firefighters, paramedics, EMTs, police officers, National Guardsmen, etc., then it is safe to assume that they will be able to take care of you. That first time around, have the dry cleaners put those military creases in your shirt for you. As you become familiar with pressing, if you get a brand new shirt right out of the package, then you can put the creases in yourself. Once those creases are already in your shirt, your shirts will sometimes say dry clean only. If you've got the ability to have them dry clean twice a month, go right ahead. I prefer to press mine myself. You've already gotten the period of instruction in a previous segment on how to spray your uniforms. At this point, they're already dry and we're ready to go. Now, I will always start with my sleeves, then I'll work to my collars, then I'll work to my shoulders, and then I'll work to my back and the front. Same way that I do for my camis. Now, my uniforms have a chevron splitting the seam of the sleeve. You will have a ROTC patch on one of your sleeves. Regardless of what's on your sleeve, that patch or that chevron will always split the stitching. I'm sorry, not the stitching, but the crease in your sleeve. So I'm going to start with the bottom and I'm going to use the seam as my guideline. And then I'm going to work my way up to that crease. Unless I already have the creases put in and then I'm going to start with the crease. That way... I don't put double creases. I don't want to accidentally iron another crease next to the one that's already there. I'm gonna click my iron to steam, and I'm gonna steam out the wrinkles. Now, unlike your camouflage utility uniform, which is fire retardant, you can take your time and let that iron set on that material for your camis for a long period of time. You can't do that with your service shirt. If you do, you will burn it. So, another thing you need to worry about is a shine on your uniform. I'm going to take and glide my iron across my shirt. Unlike my camis where I'm mashing down and pressing, these, I'm just putting a light bit of pressure onto my sleeves. I'm going to click it on dry, and I'm drying that sleeve. Always make sure that I have my creases lined up. I'm going to beforehand smooth all that material out it should be smooth on the bottom if i don't have it smooth on the bottom it's going to burn a crease onto the top wherever it's wrinkled here you're going to see it on the front side when you iron it always make sure that it's dry especially your service shirts because they're a poly cotton blend if you leave them damp from the steam then they will wrinkle really really bad so now that I have one sleeve done, I'm going to jump over and do the next sleeve the exact same way. From there, you're going to go move to the collar. I'm going to iron, iron the bottom side of the collar first, steam out all my wrinkles, and then click it on dry. Dry that material flat. Now, if you've got a little bit of water that leaps out of your spout here, or that leaks out from the bottom with the, where the steam comes out, don't worry about it. Water's not going to do any, do any damage. From there, I'm going to flip it over. Now I'm doing the front side of the collar. Steam. Click. Iron. Dry. I'm going to dry that material flat. I'm not going past the collar seam. Unlike your camis, your khaki shirt has a rolled collar, which we'll go over in a second. So now that I got my collar done, I've got both my sleeves done. Now I'm going to work to the creases in the back. This is where you have to pay very special attention. Your creases in the back are not supposed to come up higher than that shorter seam sewn to the back of your blouse. Sometimes they will, especially when you take them to the cleaners. You might have to touch it up. But I'm going to take those creases that are already there from the dry cleaners. 
I've already sprayed my shirt. It's already dried, like we talked about in the previous segment. And then I'm going to take my crease and work my way from the bottom to the top, loosen all that material, and then I'm heading to the head end of my ironing board. And I'm going to take that material and smooth it all nice and flat. I'm ironing this space right here in between my middle crease and my outboard crease, making sure that any material underneath the arm and the shoulder that might bundle up under here is out of the way. That's why I'm letting the majority of it hang off so that it's just the crease that I'm ironing. So once I've got my creases, I'm gonna grab my iron and ironing board. No, do not let it slide because you're gonna put another crease in there by accident. I'm gonna hold it probably about the middle, click it on steam. I'm gonna steam that crease in there. I'm going all the way up to my inseam on the side of my shirt. Click it on dry. Dry that material nice and flat. These are what's gonna give you your razor sharp creases. Be able to cut your finger on it, be awesome. Now I'm gonna shift a little bit. I'm gonna pull this material up, line up my crease. Don't let it slide either way or else you're gonna add another crease to it. And I'm gonna steam out all the wrinkles, taking it up to the shoulder seam, but not past it. Right up to that shoulder seam. Steam it out and then click it on dry. Now, this material is so thin, you're not only steaming this side, but you're steaming the other side in between your two creases all at the same time. So now that I got that material dry, I've got my crease and I'm ironed on both sides of it almost. So what you may be able to see here, if the camera will pick it up, is that it's nice and smooth here, but I've got a little bit of wrinkles as I get closer to my middle seam here. So now I'm gonna grab that middle seam, or that middle crease I should say, up by the collar, down by the middle, pop all the material out, put it on the ironing board. Now that you've got the middle one, you really gotta be careful not to come too far over. Because if I come too far over, not only am I gonna burn out this crease and flatten it out, but that other side, I'm gonna iron this one out of a crease accidentally. So I'm only gonna go about half of the space. And then knowing that I had already ironed that other half with the first crease. Steam all the way up to the shoulder seam, but not past it. Then click it on dry, dry it flat. Bing, bang, boom. From there, I would do the third crease the exact same way as I did the first one. Line up your creases. Make sure they're perfect. Here's what I got to tell you. If you wear this shirt for an inspection, and it's nice and cool, and you take it off right after that inspection or at the end of that day, you might, might be in the operative word, get away with just coming back with a steam iron steam it for your next inspection. I wouldn't recommend it. Why? Because most of us are, are pubescent and we got stanky arms and we're sweating. Do not iron this shirt while it's dirty. If you take this off after stanking it up and you put it on an ironing board and then iron it, you're going to ruin it because all of those sweat stains are going to get burned permanently into your blouse. Boom, my entire back is done and I've got razor sharp creases ready to go for an inspection. Now that I got both sleeves done, I've got the back done, I'm skipping the shoulder. I'm gonna do that last or next to last. From here, I'm working on the pockets. Now, if you wanna make sure that you're not wrinkling up more than necessary, then iron your sleeves, iron your collar, then you could go ahead and iron the front pockets and then work your way around to your creases. So on the front side of my blouse, I'm gonna take my pockets. This is for male blouses. And I'm gonna hit the corners here. I'm gonna hit that crease. Now, if you're a female, you don't have pockets. All of the same requirements for ironing and in the same order 
are identical. The only difference is you don't have those creases to be put into your blouse. So when we get to laying it flat, you're just gonna iron yours nice and flat, but in the same order that the male blouses are. So now that I got my corners lined up, I got my buttonhole lined up, I'm just gonna iron my pockets flat. Steam, dry, bing, bang, boom, and I'm done. If you want, if you need, flip it over, and you can do the same thing for the other side. I'm going a little fast here because I know exactly where all my creases are. I've been ironing this exact same shirt for about a bazillion years. Click, steam, dry, boom. Now I'm gonna work on the creases in the front. Now here's where you're gonna run into a little bit of trouble. I gotta work from the pocket up on the front. So now that I got my pockets done, I'm gonna line up that crease. I'm gonna move all this material out of the way and I'm gonna use in that corner of the ironing board so that I can take it from crease start to crease stop at that pocket. All of this excess material is out of the way and it's nice and smooth. And I'm only going up to the crease. Click it on steam. Being very careful because right here is where the eye is going to go. Everybody's going to be looking right here where all your ribbons and medals and badges and all that accoutrement is. So I'm going to iron that crease. I'm not worried about here. I'm not worried about here. I'm only worried about that crease. All the rest of it will iron out flat in a second. Click it on dry. Iron that crease flat. All of this we'll get to and all of this we'll get to in a second. From here, I'm working from the pocket down. Using the small end of the ironing board. Making sure that all the excess material underneath, nice and flat, nice and smooth. From here, steam. Don't double crease. Pay very close attention and make sure you're right on top of that original crease. Steam, dry. and then dry that crease flat and razor-like. Now that I got my pocket done, top of the pocket, bottom of the pocket, now I can lay the blouse or the shirt on the ironing board. Now I'm gonna work in sections. I'm gonna start with the armpit area I'm gonna iron right here. Now you can take and iron. You're gonna go up underneath the pocket. If you need to, you can go on top of the pocket and kind of flatten it down so that it cones out. It'll bring out that crease into a more point, into more of a point while you're ironing, while you're wearing it. Steam, like always. Go up to the crease. Don't accidentally mow over that crease and then take it out. Click it on dry. And then work around the other side. Click it on steam. Click it on dry. I'm going up to the crease, but not over it. Now I'm gonna shimmy it over and use the corner. I'm gonna let that sleeve hang off the pocket, I'm sorry, hang off the ironing board so that I don't iron any more wrinkles into it by accident. So I'm gonna use that seam, that shoulder seam as a baseline. I'm gonna iron up to the crease, not over it. Iron up to the crease, but not over it. A little bit of steam, not much, click it on dry. Won't take much. Do the same thing with the other side. Now, here's the difference between your service shirt and your candies. My service shirt, I'm ironing it flat. I do not open it up and then put a crease in it. Don't do that. Only your candies.
Now that it's dry, ready to go. I will do the same thing for the other side with the buttons, work around the buttons. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, once I've got the other side of the shirt done, is I'm gonna come up to my shoulders. I'm gonna use the corner of the ironing board and line up my seams, and then I'm gonna iron my shoulders. That way, I don't accidentally burn out that crease in the back. A little bit of steam, a little bit of dry, a little bit of steam, a little bit of dry. Once it's done, I'm going to take and put it back on the hanger, bing to the bang to the boom, and now I will have an open rolled collar. when I'm wearing my shirt. Now, you can see the difference in the side that I pressed and then the side that I didn't that's got all the wrinkles and everything in it. All right, that is your service shirt. Three, equidistant creases in the back. Two, center seamed creases in the front. Do not let your iron rest too long on this material, otherwise it's gonna burn the material. Once I'm done, I hang it back up I'm going to move on to my trousers. We'll see you in the next segment.